Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today we have a triple gameplay. We have cornerback Randy Moss, free safety Julio, and we have Trent Williams, but I'm using him at running back. And yes, he does get running back secondary position, so I'm just going to let you guys know right now, okay? With us using running back Trent Williams, I had to change around my entire offense because he already has 2 AP being used on abilities that won't matter for me using a running back. And then we have Recuperation and Bulldozer on him, and I'm going to run him a ton. So I'm going to let you guys know right now. I hope that we do good on offense, but we might not. So I kind of expect us to lose this gameplay, to be completely honest. I don't think we're going to have much, you know, actual success on offense. But it's going to be a fun gameplay to use him. And then defensively, we have Randy, we have Julio. So we're probably going to lose, but it should be a fun one. I don't give a shout out to Elias Brent for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to channel, to notification blonde, and comment down below Noti Gang. And guys, there is a new special available on Underdog Fantasy starting with March Madness with Houston. For every single game that they play, and there's going to be a player on their team that is going to be boosted so all you have to do is select them and then you will get the odds boost hopefully they continue to win and we get a new boosted player every time that they actually have a game which is huge because normally if you pick five players right that would be 20 times so if you did let's say a ten dollar entry you win two hundred dollars well now it's gonna be 40 times so you can turn ten dollars into four hundred dollars and the other ones if you pick you know four players three players two players whatever those are also boosted like two players normally is three times odds it's gonna be five times odds so use code zerk to match your first deposit up to hundred dollars follow me over on twitter i'm always tweeting out my nba picks i'll definitely be doing some college basketball ones as well we have the mlb coming up and then the nfl season once it returns it's gonna be a lot of fun so use code zerk to match your first deposit follow me on twitter today i'll have my nba picks out later so you guys can go ahead copy those if you want to do the opposite run some private drafts follow me over there but let's get into these players real quick rundown we have randy moss 99 speed 96 excel 99 man and zone with 93 play rec 98 press six foot four and he's good versus the run 88 block shed 87 half hour 83 tackling now we do have universal coverage and the backyard ballers chemistry as well and we also have vegas chem so he's getting you know plus two strength there i only have 550 though for that now unfortunately so you can't take these abilities off so yes it costs four ap in total if you want to put acrobat onto him so that's kind of like the dilemma the only thing bad about this card is you have to use deep route ko and mid zone ko which just doesn't really make a lot of sense but mid zone ko on a cornerback card i mean it, it just doesn't really matter it's not broken like it used to be last year and then we have deep route ko and acrobat so four ap total just because i want to get acrobat on him that kind of sucks then we have free safety julio which i actually planned on using him in this gameplay but because the abilities that he gets, I'm actually going to let him roam as a deep safety, and I'll show you why. But he's got 98 speed, 95 excel, 99 zone, 95 hit power, 6 foot 3, 93 change direction, and he's got 95 block shed with 91 tackling. Now again, you can't change these abilities off, but he gets acrobat for 1 AP, and then he has deep out zone KO for 1 AP. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I always put acrobat on my DBs. So he gets both of those. I want to see how he plays that deep out zone. Then we did use him most of coverage, and then of course he has backyard ballers, and titans and falcons cam and also i forgot to show this but you guys see raiders vikings patriots titans and 49ers for moss and finally fullback trent williams with 90 speed 97 excel he's got great run block and everything but we're using him at running back he's 320 pounds with 97 truck but he's only got 72 break tackles so i'm not sure how well this is gonna go now as i said guys you can't change abilities off of somebody so identifier and honorary lineman he's stuck with them so that's two ap that really, I mean, honorary lineman just isn't going to get used because he's actually my running back. Identifier, that is, I guess, going to help. But because I'm doing a running back gameplay, I have to also add recuperation and bulldozer. Because he's a fullback, he doesn't really get a lot of, like, great abilities to actually run with him. So bulldozer is 2 AP. So really, I would use recuperation and bulldozer for 3 AP total, but it's actually 5. So I had to change around my entire offense. I don't have escape artist on Namath, whatever. I pretty much have fully committed to just running the ball here with Trent Williams this entire game. So as I said, we might not do the best on offense, 
We also might truck 27 people. So this is gonna be pretty fun. Halfback, secondary cam, 320 pound running back. Let's get into this. Looking to take your game in Madden 22 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to eBooks, tips, and schemes from Madden Pros. Use code Zerk for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. And I'm sure that was probably a pretty long intro, but hey, had a lot of stuff to talk about and also three cards to go over all their abilities and everything like that, as that is my opponent's top three. I noticed two Cowboys there. Maybe has some Cowboys cam going. Okay, so we've got Randy Moss out here. We've also got free safety Julio Jones, and I gotta say, I am very, very excited uh, to see exactly how we can do with them, as my opponent might be a big-time runner of the football. Okay, let's see if he continues to run the football here, but I did just make sure Julio was actually playing as a deep zone there and oh i didn't i honestly just didn't think he was gonna throw it when he saw me come down all right so good to know that he actually will still throw that even if i'm you know showing that i'm gonna come down and play on that maybe he just like 3000 iq played me and knew that i wouldn't play on that as good little throw there but i am definitely very very excited to see what randy moss can do out here and also julio jones i'm hoping that they both get targeted a little bit i would love to get like a pick six with uh, Randy Moss. That would be so insane if we could pull that one off as Derwin is literally running right next to him and didn't react at all. All right, Derwin, uh, nice play right there. Definitely a uh, nice play right there for sure as I just got stuck on a D lineman and Ronnie Lott, good tackle attempt, I guess. All right, second and goal. You already know he's gonna try to go to his running back like 99% of people do here. So I did just man him up and I'm right, bro. Do you guys see this? Why does this always happen to me? Why of all people am I cursed when it comes to playing Madden Ultimate Team? Like dropped interceptions, just crazy, crazy. I'm there. I didn't animate. Well, we had a dropped interception and then I was standing right there to where Acrobat should have lit up and it didn't. That, that's, that's Madden 22 for you there. But now we have Trent Williams. And as I said, guys, I changed around pretty much my entire offense and I fully plan on feeding Trent Williams like a hundred times this game and just trying to truck over anybody I can. So we'll see how this goes. So really this is just supposed to be a fun gameplay and uh, if we somehow win, that would be a miracle. Second and seven coming up though. I'm gonna try to run right at him here. Trent with a broken tackle, let's go. Now I know his break tackle isn't high, but he's so big, he's 320 pounds and he's got good trucking and all that. So I fully expect him to be breaking tackles and falling forward. Also with a 90 speed, like he should get open, you know, and, and once you get into like open area, he should have a little bit of room to work with here as we're gonna have X open across the middle. Cooper Cup, just get the first down. My plan is really only to pass the ball like five or six times this game if I need to, you know, maybe to switch it up a little bit just in case he just starts shooting gaps and everything. But Trent Williams with a stiff arm on Ronnie Lott. As much of a joke card as this Trent Williams is, it is actually a pretty solid card here in terms of speed and trucking and also being an actual fullback. But after this gameplay, he's probably gonna stick around the team to be honest. I'm probably gonna use him at fullback and just have him be, you know, my fullback dive guy, have a little lead block or whatever. It's a pretty good card. Second and eight here. We're going to try to pound this one right up the gut. And we trucked over somebody there. All right, I've got to try a stretch play. I don't know how this is going to work out really, but I've got to try a stretch to the outside. If we can hit the edge, we might have a big gain here. And we got the first. And of course, as well with this Trent Williams, guys, he is 320 pounds. So yes, you can air truck with this card, which makes him just that much better at actual fullback like on the goal line. And you guys are seeing right here, my opponent, I mean, he's got a good team you guys can see the team he has they're trying to tackle him you can't you just simply cannot oh no Trent I, I tried to go to the inside he's just so big he actually had the opportunity there for like a huge run and we couldn't get it done but now we're at the 19 yard line and he's gonna start run committing I expected that all right second and eight and I am gonna pass the ball here oh because I kind of expect him to run commit to be honest and we've got Cooper oh man thank you I thought that was gonna be bad because we don't really have many abilities on and I thought that was gonna be an inaccurate throw led to the right and it was gonna be intercepted thankfully was not but that was a pretty good first drive right there with Trent Williams you guys saw he's got some decent speed to him he's breaking tackles he's falling forward it's a fun little fun car all right so now it's time to see if we can get a stop out here on defense I'm gonna look out for the tight end he's gonna go to Cooper Cup he's gonna go to Cooper Cup yep I saw that coming shouldn't have gone for the interception there and I also had a QB contain, just so you guys know. So in classic Madden 22 fashion, uh, I did have a QB contain out there. And guess what didn't work? 
the QB contained didn't work. But luckily, Jalen Waddle, he definitely works. And I actually wanted to get tackled down here. I wanted to get tackled because I want to try to run the ball again with Trent Williams as Trent. Oh, get into the end zone, man. And this is really what I wanted to do this entire game. Trent Williams at fullback. And this is what he's going to be used for my actual offense after this gameplay. That... That didn't work at all. Okay. Well, I tried to just, you know, uh, air truck there into the end zone. It, it didn't work for some reason. I didn't get the air truck animation. So let's try that again. And Trent bulldozing his way in. All right. And now we start off the second half with the ball tied game up at 14. And of course, we are going to continue to feed this animal in Trent Williams. And we'll see if we can continue to get that to work here. But let's go right back to the run game. I'm going to run this one right up the middle. And okay, we didn't block Vince Wilfork at all. So even though I actually double teamed Vince Wilfork there, my uh, defense said, no, we are not going to double team Vince Wilfork and not even block him at all. So third down to 14 coming up and we do have to, I'm going to try it. I want to try it. Trent Williams getting open out of the backfield. Trent in open field. That was a huge play right there from Trent. Uh, honestly, I don't know why. I, I kind of expected him to drop the catch. Like, I don't know why I thought he would, but I really thought he was going to drop it. Once again, you can see, once you get into open field with him, he's got 90 speed. You know, it's not like he's O-lineman speed. He's actually got pretty good speed. A breakaway, but he will definitely get you some yards after the catch there. Third and five coming up, though. And we've got him. We've got him open in the flats. Trent Williams again in the receiving game. Good play. I'm actually having way more fun with this Trent Williams card than I thought I was going to. As once again, we're running to the outside. Absolutely just destroy any cornerback in the game. So I'm definitely having way more fun than I anticipated with this Trent Williams. But second and 12 coming up. And I do want to go to him here out of the backfield. But once again, dude, we've got Cooper Cup one-on-one -on -one for the TD. And honestly, what's hilarious is if you guys go back and take a look at that play, right? He knew that he called cover two, and he probably knew what play that I was running there. Well, the thing is, even though he knew what play I was running as he throws it right to me with Derwin James, he actually decided to cover on the running back on Trent Williams instead of trying to guard Cooper Cup. So he decided Trent Williams was the bigger threat and he's out of here. So that was actually a ton of fun right there and you guys got to see a lot out of Trent Williams. However, you didn't really get to see too much out of, you know, Randy Moss and Julio. So I decided to hop into a house rules game to try to show them off more. That worked out perfectly. Now, I don't really have time to go in and do a full head-to-head -head game, which is why I decided to come in here and do house rolls. But, you know, we're still going to try to run the ball a little bit here with Trent Williams if we can. But obviously, yes, Julio Jones has incredible range. He is a really, really good deep free safety for sure, as Trent Williams do once again is wide open and he's breaking tackle. And although my opponent doesn't target Randy Moss, I do want to let you guys know that I will be doing another Randy Moss gameplay later this week because I'm doing double Randy Moss gameplay when we get his wide receiver on Saturday with Ultimate Legends. And my opponent here, for some reason, continues to run commit. So I'm once again going to try to run the ball with Trent and he, again, run committed. And if my opponent is going to continue to run the same exact play here, then we should easily be able to pick up this first down and then we'll easily be able to pick up a TD as Darren Waller is actually going to get both in the same exact play here. And we'll hop into another one to try to see if we can get Moss targeted. So this will be the final game right here. And I think this is versus the same exact opponent. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy. And since I'm pretty sure this is the same guy, I really just want to show off Randy Moss and Julio. So what we're going to do is we are just going to go to Cooper Cup, who was one-on-one -on -one versus Deion Sanders, and Deion is not going to keep up with him. And actually, we might, and yes, we are actually going to get Trent Williams out of the bat. Oh, I want you. Oh, yes. Thank you very, very much, Deion Sanders. I saw Deion out there, and I knew it was, it was over for him. Now, the thing is, if I get this two-point conversion, I'm pretty sure that the game will end. So I don't want to get this two-point conversion. I'm just going to run out of the pocket here, and I'm just going to run out of bounds. So once again, Again, let's see if we can get Randy Moss targeted or maybe he will actually just once again throw it up Julio Jones and see if he can make a play as Julio with a diving interception. 
there's the acrobats so that was the triple gameplay now i know randy moss didn't even get targeted i don't think at all in that gameplay and that just came down to my opponents whatever but julio did get two interceptions in the house rules games and trent williams was really fun so i know that randy moss didn't really get targeted too too much but maybe that means he was just shut down in coverage i guess and i will be doing another randy moss gameplay on saturday when we get the wide receiver one and i'll still have the cornerback one so you can see more of cornerback loss in that one but trent williams this was actually a really really fun card 320 pounds he's got 90 speed 97 excel and i mean 60 catching but he didn't drop the ball and i mean he actually had some pretty big plays there so i gotta say trent williams this is definitely a lot funner of a card than i thought it was gonna be he had 22 rush attempts for 68 yards five broken tackles and his longest rush was 17 yards but then receiving wise five catches 121 yards and he had 74 yards after the catch I don't know. This was this was definitely a pretty fun card. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.